Hey, what's up? It's another episode of Watch You Strap In. And these are not watch reviews, so just a quick wristwatch check with a particular strap pairing um, just to show it off, have a little fun. And I guess these could, could be considered a bit of a extended or supplemental, uh, you know, uh, information videos for uh, like uh, uh, a uh, watch review or ongoing uh, watch experience. Anyways, this is the Zodiac Z09287. I hope I got that correct. It'll be in the uh, title and the and probably in the description of this uh, this video. Um, Super Seawall 53. Uh, I guess this is what you would consider uh, their compression model because um, there's about three different versions of the Super Seawolf. There's the skin, I believe. This is the compression. Uh, the skin is more like a, I think that's the most vintage looking one. It's got the, like the 12, nine and six, and maybe a three if it's a no date with the, the triangle, uh, uh, whatever numbers within the triangles at the you know respective uh, cardinal points. Uh, and then I believe the version that has a, more of a, at least the paddle style handset. Um, but at least that's what I would call them. Um, it's maybe considered the pro or the professional. But anyways, uh, yeah, I really like the compression. I think this this uh, uh, style works the best for me out of the, the three basically different ones that they have. Uh, yeah, so really liked this model. Um, it's bright without being overly colorful. Um, it's really subdued and uh, conservative considering some of uh, Zodiac's other color that they uh, they have out there or have had. Um, yeah, just that navy dial, matte, um, with the white outer chapter ring uh, on the outside of that dial, and uh, this light blue. Um, it's actually a mineral crystal uh, insert. Uh, just, just looks really good. And today I've got this paired up with uh, uh, a strap from CNS Watchman. It is a NATO style uh, ribbed, as you can see with the texture. And I forget the exact color, I believe it's light blue. Um, it'll be in the description of uh, this video. I'd have to go back in my uh, to my invoice on my email to figure out what exact color this is because I have bought a, I have bought a few of these rib straps because I have a lot of great colors from them and the quality is pretty decent I think for this style of uh, strap and uh, they're definitely inexpensive especially when you get start buying five or more straps from CNS watch bands you get I believe an additional 20% off the order so I mean they're already pretty inexpensive to begin with so it's even more so and that's what I usually do um, and uh, yeah, I was looking for uh, like uh, something that would match really well with this light blue. And it was basically one of two, maybe three choices. I forget exactly. I know I at least have one other, like uh, sort of a light blue um, strap, but it has, a, it's just a touch darker and maybe, I don't know, maybe slightly in the gray side. Uh, but it's it's not bad, but this one definitely is the best match for this. You can see um, it's almost perfect with this uh, with the, the light blue that's on the watch. And uh, yeah, I've actually had this for some time. I bought this a little while ago. Um, I had sold this watch uh, a while back. Ooh, sometime in mid or early last year, I see 2023. Uh, but I had picked up um, another Super Seawolf to that was sort of a replacement for it. Don't remember the exact ref. Uh, it has a light blue bezel, but it also has a like, orange um, on it and a silver dial. And uh, that one was pretty cool. It's, it's that one was really like a, a throwback to one of their ones that they had. I don't not sure if they ever had this exact colorway in their one of their vintage models. They've had several. It's possible they might have. Uh, but anyways, I thought I was going to keep the other one. Uh, <laughs> I ended up selling it and I didn't have a Zodiac for a while. And then recently, and this is kind of a rebuy, uh, as I might have mentioned uh, maybe a couple, a few videos back. 
um, Hodinke, the Hodinke shop since they're getting out of the watch selling business uh, supposedly and trying to focus in on other things uh, had like a really big sale on a lot of watches not everything at least not yet <laughs> uh, but um, yeah and this one I was waiting it was 30% off and and I figured, well, if it drops a bit more, maybe say 50, at least half off, I think it might be worth picking up again because it was pretty, actually a pretty good watch. And so uh, eventually it did. So I got this for about 50% about fifty off. And I thought, all right, I guess I'm going to jump on this and just get the twin back in my collection. And I'm glad I have it back. It's a, it's a really nice watch. Um, it's one of the, I would say the original three commercially available dive watches uh back in the day of i guess as the we kind of covered here as 1953 as indicated on the dial indicates when it was originally uh released uh alongside uh long pan and uh you know the 50 fathoms as well as uh the rolex submariner uh but being as uh i guess a much larger and you know uh luxury brand as those other ones are they kind of uh took the the limelight uh from that um you know uh that notoriety of being some of the early uh, first uh dive watches with a rotating timing bezel uh available to uh to the uh, you know commercially available uh but this was one of them and uh, i think it's definitely underrated and uh, i think it has a really nice style and something that uh it's original to itself um yeah so and I believe they say that uh, maybe the Zodiac uh, Super Sea Wolf was maybe one of the first model dive models to actually have like a 15 minute scale for the timing bezel. I guess the ones back, the other two at least, Black Hun and uh, Sub the Submariner of um, Rolex, uh, didn't really have that. They were just like, I think five, maybe 10 minute increments or so, something like that. Uh, but they didn't have like a, as, the, as much uh, graduations, uh, at least in the first 15 minutes of it. Uh, just a little fun fact that I think I heard recently. Anyways, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty darn good. Uh, summer is winding down, but it's still definitely hot and sunny these days uh, where I'm at in NorCal in the United States. And uh, yeah, so I finally got this one to try. And uh, I'm glad that... Uh, uh yeah put this on i don't know why it took me so long well i had sold this watch and uh yeah i didn't have it and only recently did i get it back maybe within the last month or so and uh i've been just kind of trying it back on some straps that i never had a chance to anyway there we go i gotta get going so thanks for watching and uh yeah enjoy your watches later